G'day Parcettos. G'day Parcettos. G'day Parcettos. G'day Parcettos. That's what I call the jump of the goat. So I've been in this city for the last couple weeks. I want to share with you guys the best spots to go out, the best places to eat, places to go, things to do, a little bit of the history as well. This city with its history, its flavors, its colors, its you know streets has woken a part of me. It's inspired me in a way which I haven't felt before. The word magical gets thrown around all the time by people who are describing it because it's true. There's a magical element to the charm of this city. Native tribes were living here for over 5,000 years when the Spanish arrived with boatloads of African slaves. They found wealth in precious metals and a port with great strategic position in the Caribbean. They got rid of and dominated most of the local tribes and then used the African slaves to build the wall. So today, when you come to Cartagena, you see traces of that in the architecture, in the way the city is positioned, in the people, and the way they're, they're spread throughout the city. So now when you walk the streets of Cartagena, you see people from all over the world who are finding a way to get along. So the first thing you have to do in Cartagena is one of the streets. Get lost in the old city. The city is ridiculously photogenic. One spot I really recommend in Hetsemani is Demente. They have a Chontadura Noki, which is absolutely delicious. Also a drink that I recommend while you're visiting the pirate city, I recommend El Dictador. After sunset, there's a crazy amount of places to go and get a drink. Two of the most popular right now are El Chimico and La Jugara. Cool doesn't get more old school than this. I think if you're only here for a limited time, you should include live music. Cafe Havana, Crazy Salsa, Flash to a Social Club, um, Cuba 1940s. Anywhere that has live music, I think that's something you don't really get at home. So around midnight, the clubs are cranking the air conditioning because it's hot. Fragma is really fun, worth checking out, as well as La Movida, which is the it place to be right now. But the selection of bars and clubs is only going to grow as word continues to get out about what is happening in Cartagena. The sun sets. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Every day, you will see colors that you have not seen before. Now, if you've come to Cartagena with a group, you have to do a boat trip. Take a boat out to the islands, you get some of the best beaches in the islands around Cartagena, as well as the sunset cruise on Cartagena. Oh man, I had fun. Vibes that we got going on that boat with good music, drinks flowing, floating around this living museum. It was incredible. I can't recommend enough a sunset boat cruise around Cartagena. Absolutely mind blowing. So the secret to the beaches of Boca Grande are finding a, a vendor that's got a, a good tent, who's gonna take care of you throughout the day, get you drinks, get you food, sort out music, all that good stuff. If you're coming in with dollars, you're gonna have a bit more spending power. Why not rent a jet ski? It's about half price of what you would pay in Miami. So in Miami, I think it's about $80 an hour. Here it's gonna cost you about $35, $40 an hour to rent a jet ski. So where's the best place to stay in Cartagena? The most popular, the most preferred is probably right in the old city. The beauty of it is you can walk out your front door and you're in a magical city. Bear in mind your nightly rates for a hotel room can be up to $300, $400 for a decent hotel. Boca Grande, there's a lot of tourists, so there's a lot of people trying to sell to tourists. It does have a bit of a more modern, uh, let's say Miami vibe. You've got great beach access. If you are looking for a place to stay in Boca Grande, we do have an apartment there with a pool, Hetsemani. Hetsemani is where you're gonna find most of the hostels. It's getting so popular that the prices are getting close to where the old city is. Hetsemani, you're gonna find a big mix of hostels, boutique hotels, and some local Airbnbs. Now my personal favorite and where I've been staying for the past few weeks here is in Menga. Menga is literally a four minute walk from Hetsemani. It's a quieter, more local residential neighborhood and the Cartagena Suites, a 
a building that we've just renovated. We now have 12 furnished units available for rent. You're gonna get your best bang for your buck in these units. In Manga, there's a place called the Club de Pesca. Grab a sunset cocktail there. You get views of the old city and Boca Grande. It's a secret spot with some of the best views while you have dinner and grab a drink. One of the places that I went to the most was called La Gaginera. It's in Menga, really good honey mustard, barbecue chicken, and a Milo and banana smoothie. Mm, for me, it was perfect. If you're coming through here, spend at least five days, seven days, something like that, so you can really get a feel for this place. There's a lot of different angles you can experience this city from. It's kind of like Las Vegas in a way. You can come and do it cheaply, but you're gonna experience the city on another level if you come with a bit of a budget. You got food from all over the world. You've got bars and clubs that are built into old Republican and colonial buildings that just add to the experience. I'm gonna put links to all of the places that I talked about in the description below. I'm gonna leave it at that. That was some highlights from some of my last few weeks of videos. We've just hit 10K. Thank you, seriously, thank you to everyone who's liked, subscribed, shared, collaborated. I'm a bronze YouTuber now until we get to 100K when we get that silver, that precious metals, just like the pirates were after when they came here. So the word about what's happening in the city is already getting out uh, in the States, especially New York, all over the world. People are coming and appreciating the beauty, the magic, the history of this place. Get in while you still can. It's about to become a proper mainstream tourist destination. Cartagena is waiting for you. Embrace your dreams, embrace your fears, embrace a life afar. See you guys in the next video. My name is Sam Miller. I'm part of a group of real estate entrepreneurs that are creating turnkey investments as well as taking the Airbnb experience to the next level. It means we turn properties like this into properties like this. It's gonna be a wild ride. Click the like button on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Yeah.